Welcome everyone to Weaving Tides, a game that officially releases tomorrow on May 27th. This game is kind of like a puzzle adventure type of game. I played a little bit of it and it looks really good to be honest. Um, I haven't gotten too far into it, but um, at least the first hour or so of the game I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to know pretty well for the most part. Uh, but yeah, I want to definitely bring this game to all of you uh, because uh, it looks very intriguing and hopefully all of you enjoy this. Anyway, before we begin this game, we're going to go into options here and take a look at some stuff. So language, English, rumble off. That's fine. I do not put rumble in most games. Um, audio, okay. And then controls. So you can avoid the bottom section that says playgrounds. That's something different that I have not tried yet. I just, so just look up at the general. Moving, uh, confirming, dashing, it's all basic stuff and we'll actually learn a little bit about this as we play the game. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to go into, oh there's also extras, let me show you extras. There's credits. Lovely, I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, let's go into adventure. So we're going to do a new game actually. Delete all existing projects and start a new adventure from scratch, yeah. Let's do it. New game. But yeah, um... It's a very unique concept. Like, obviously, you know, the whole, you know, adventure puzzle thing is not unique. It's like, come on, you know, there's so many games out there. But this game takes a nice twist with that. Uh, with the whole, like, hey, you know what? I guess I shouldn't be uh, spoiling too much. Let's actually just go ahead and, um, you know, see it for ourselves when you're playing or playing this game, watching this game, whatever it is that you're doing. We'll see. Alright, so I'm, let's go ahead and start now. The Silicon Desert Chapter 1. Here we go. So I get to move around. Uh, most of the time you're not going to be moving around um, as your character here, but instead you'll be uh, riding on this thing, and we'll actually get introduced to this just right now. So let's kill him. There you are. Do I have everything? I do, I do. I got the crafting kit, my flute, the bag, and the socks. No socks, Dad. Dad, whoa. Fine. Hop on. Neri and her husband need us to patch up some of their farming plots back at the village. Set, folded, and off we go. Alright, so this, this creature talks. Kill him, kill him. Alright, so... Um, here we get introduced to our first uh, thing. You know, it says ZR dive. So you just press ZR to hold and then release to go back up. You can dive in this type of terrain here that's like stitched up. But you cannot dive in these segments that have like, you know, that are all like squares. So we'll just do it again. And then go up, see? It's pretty basic. We're gonna go over here for an uh, optional treasure, okay. Gonna grab this. This is the main currency of the game. I'm not even sure what you call these. Um, I totally forgot if there even is a name for them. But just know that's the currency. You want to collect as many of those as possible. Alright. And now we're gonna make our way over here to Viteri. Tess, my boy, come over later so we can keep working on those flutes we drove yesterday. Uh, sure, okay. Oh, our little bean is already flapping her wings. There's no doubt about it. She's going to become a marvelous young woman. Ah, uh, hello, Killam. Thanks for coming by so fast. No problem. And you are my buddy Tess. Hi, Komarov. Wow, you're getting taller by the day. You'll need to grow some wings of your own soon. Your old dad won't be able to carry you much longer. Don't mind him, Killam. As you're well aware, our family is going to grow out of this cozy home sooner rather than later. We need to extend our house into the fields, but first we need to get all these tears and tears and rips fixed. I know this is your specialty, so would you mind patching them up for us? You can keep any thread essence you come across in the Okay, it's called thread essence, that's right. We'll get right to it. Alright, so yeah, let's keep going. So that's a little village right there. Again, the, the game is uh it's kinda weird in the good way, like the whole atmosphere, you know, the environment and all that. To stitch a rip, we need to descend on one side of the rip and ascend on the opposite side. Okay, so keep this in mind because it's kind of weird, but... So you descend on one side and then you ascend on the opposite side. Remember, the, the bigger rips need more stitches to fully close. Okay. So it wants us to go like that and then ascend on the other side. And there we go. Which makes sense, right? Uh, knowing this, you would go around and do this the whole time. However, what you can also do is just go on it dive immediately and go up. I figured this out when I was practicing, you know, you just go like that. Bigger stitches need more. And I think that's actually faster and a little more convenient. I mean, you could go like this if you want to, you know, it's up to you, but I'll probably be using both methods to be honest, but we'll see. Done and done. Nary and Kumarov will be so pleased and they've got space for, oh, another 20 children at least. Aren't they wonderful together? They do look like a perfect little family, but I can't help wondering if my parents would even recognize me if they saw me now. 
when you were just a wee baby. You could cry louder than anything I've heard. Nobody could forget that. But I'm sure they would have loved you as much as I do. Who knows? If only I could ask to myself. No. What was that? No idea, but there seems to be some kind of ruckus back in the village. Let's take a look. Oh no. Gotta hurry up. Oh, you can also dash, by the way, with B. Um, I think in the game we'll introduce that to us in just a little bit. Wait, what's going on here? Flee! They're attacking the village! Oh no. Is this some, like, dark birds or something? I don't even know. God damn. Oh, shred, hop on my back. I can live one or two more folks. They're not interested in us. They're headed for your tent. Seek out the Seer of La Laria. She might know what to do. Now go. We can handle this. Okay. We gotta go through. We gotta go through. We're taking damage, but that's fine. We gotta go this way. Alright, here we go. Here's the dash. Dash through, and you can break stuff like these cactus things. They usually have, like, hearts and stuff, which is pretty cool, you know, that they have that stuff. So we're just gonna keep going now. We'll break that over there, sure. And let's see. We made it to a new section. Yeah, so obviously we don't know much of the story right now. We're still getting introduced to a lot of the premise of the game, you know? But it's... Some things are clear, some things are not so clear. Okay, so... Are you alright? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Those things back there. Why do they attack us? And how come they look so much like you? I honestly don't know. In all my journeys, I never came across weavers like these. Something about them felt very off. Let's just hope all the villagers are safe. What should we do now? For now, we should do as Komarov said and visit the seer. Laria should be close by. We only need to follow the path ahead of us. Okay. Well, let's go ahead then. Here's some more of these things. Uh, and anytime you see these, you do want to patch them up. It's very uh, useful to do so. Yeah, see? Uh, by the way, you can also let go of your uh, thing by pressing... Uh, is it A? I actually don't remember. Hold on. Well, B does it too, but you can also do A. A also breaks it. Um, that's going to be useful for a little bit later with some puzzles. Wait, I wasn't even checking. Did I get everything? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so your dash does have a... Yeah, well, I t obviously I didn't do everything. I was so busy, you know, informing all of you about what the hell, how to play this. Yeah, so your uh, dash has a cooldown, as you can see. It's a little circle that appears next to your character there. Um, so, what the heck? Oh, those got stuck under. It's kind of interesting. Okay, another new concept here. Even though I said these squares you can't go through, some of them you can depending on the color. You can go here like this. Right now we're gonna go up, grab these, and yeah. Whoa, those little beasts look fierce. Do you think we can stitch them down with your ribbon? We sure can. If we stun them with the dash, it's even easier to tie them up. Okay. Sure. So you can stun them. And all you really have to do is... Oh, shoot. My bad. Sorry, he's on terrain that, um... It's not too convenient. There we go. Destroyed. Pretty simple, honestly. Uh, nothing... Nothing too crazy. We got one of them. Um... Yeah, if they're on terrain that you, where you can't go down, it's a little harder to, to take care of them. But if they're on terrain where you can, then it's a lot easier. And I'll explain that in just a little bit. Okay, that's actually a thing to progress. Oh, shoot, we got stuck. Well, let's do the puzzle first, and then we can go back, I think. Alright, so here it wants us to do one, two, three, and there we go. Opens the door. Uh, let's go back first, because I think we definitely uh, missed some stuff. Well, defeating these enemies also does net you some essence, usually. Uh, not always, I've noticed, but I don't know what like indicates that or not, you know? But, like, do you see how, like, it's not actually... I don't know, like, not that time. Dude, that one did. It's, it's weird. It's very weird that only some enemies give you the essence and others don't. Anyway, here's this. This is a shattered heart. Collect four fragments to get an additional heart container. Oh my god, that's so unique. I've never heard of any other game or series that has that concept. Especially not anything that rhymes with the resin of Melda. I'm just saying, you know? I'm just saying. Alright. Uh, here we go. Now we're gonna go and kill this guy just so I can potentially get some money. 
I'm gonna call it money sometimes, but we all know it's essence. It's basically the currency, so if you hear me call it money, just bear with me, okay? It's basically money, you know? In in game concept. Did I get it? I couldn't tell because oh there we go. Okay, now I got you. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. When you fight enemies that are not oh, Z ZL special ability. Okay, one's gonna do this. There we go. But it does have a like you can't just spam it all the time. It has a cool time time, I'm trying to remember how that works actually. Um, anyway, if you just go up to an enemy, oh whoops, the freaking cactus blocked me. If you go up to an enemy and just spam the button, you'll actually be able to get them. Pretty easily, to be honest. Alright, there's a pathway that goes down and there's another pathway that goes up this way. I'm not sure which one is the correct way to go, actually. Um, let's move down here. Wait, did I get everything right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, we're gonna go down like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, so here, watch this. You can just spam the whole thing, you know? Like, you don't need to do what the game is saying of, like, descend and then ascend. You can just literally spam the button on the actual stitch itself. And there we go. What is this? Ooh. Orange ribbon. A simple orange ribbon can be used in the Playgrounds mode. Yeah, I actually don't know much about Playgrounds mode. Um, I have not actually tried that, so I don't know what you actually get there. Um, so, we'll see. And then destroying all these is not really going to give me anything, honestly. I just do it for fun sometimes. Okay. That's it for here. So now we can just uh, proceed. And now we can go up to the north, the next section. Okay, so here we got some thorn-like things. Gotta be careful and not touch them. I believe we can go... Yeah, we can go this way. Oh, that's another puzzle. I don't think I want to do that one yet. Or do I? You know what? Hey, someone already tried to stitch this pattern up. Man, it did a really bad job. It's no big deal, we can destroy stitches by dashing through them. Then we only have to connect the dots of the pattern correctly to move forward. Okay, so I'll do that in just a little bit then, actually. I don't know why the prompt didn't appear the first time I went there, but... Yeah, so you detach by pressing A, just gave you that tutorial right there. Okay. Let's, uh, stitch up. Oh, I totally missed that. Oh my god. Wait, did I just... Oh, shoot. My bad. I was uh, stuck there for a bit, which yeah, you can do. Oh man. Okay, I'm actually sucking a lot right here. There we go. There we go. So you just simply dash into them and then you do that, and there we go. Um, there is this pathway. Which we can take. I don't know where this is going to take us. Let's see. Okay, another nice little chest here. We'll take it. More money. Nice. Successfully downloaded update data for another game. Oh, cool. I don't really care too much about it. I already played through that game. I think that was Sector 781. That's a Metroidvania. It's a really short Metroidvania game. You can beat it in like 30 minutes. Honestly, like incredibly short. But it's a fun one if you're a fan of Metroidvania games. I actually do play a lot of Metroidvania games. Uh, take a look at that. I have a whole section on my channel for that. Played games like Ori. Well, I only played the first Ori. Um, I haven't played Will of the Wisps yet. Obviously, Cave Story, Axiom Verge. Lots of great stuff. A lot of Metroid games. Hollow Knight is another big one, too. Okay, so now we're going to do. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. So if you dash through them, because we have to. We gotta follow what it's saying here. So if we do, like, let's say this. Oh, sorry, I missed. That. And then you detach. And then we go here. There we go. A lot of the time you will want to detach when it comes to these puzzles, you know? So. Yeah. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, great. Got a lot of enemies, it seems. There we go, see? You just simply dash into them. 
Now, if you dash into them when there's no, you know, terrain where you can actually go under, that kind of sucks, for sure, but... Oh, we got a heart, too, from that. Alright, what's next? Oh, we got more? Seems like we got more. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the hell was that? It didn't... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, got one. I guess we'll just have to take them one at a time. That's two. Yeah, so wait until they get onto the edge, then uh, you can easily kill them like that, you know? There we go. And another chest, we will open this one. This one, that's us. Dash focus, allows the bearer to dash in fast succession. Alright, so now we're going to get introduced to inventory. We could have opened inventory a while ago, but I didn't want to yet because, I mean, there was not really any point. Um, how many of these are there? Oh my god, there's actually like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, am I still going? Oh, I wasn't actually sure there, my god. Alright, well anyway, we're going to go up to the top section right here. So, this is your collection of, um, it says embroidery, so you start with this basic one, it allows, um, users of the pattern weave class to fast stitch a pattern resembling a small blossom, which you already have. Uh, however, we also got this one, dash focus, allows the bearer to dash in fast succession, so if you just press confirm, you get to put it here automatically. So now, uh, basically our cooldown has been reduced for the dash, a pretty decent amount, so... Yeah, you have to equip them. Think of it like, um, um, oh my god, I'm so, I'm totally drawing a blank. Freaking Hollow Knight, oh my god, what the hell is the term for all those things? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, charms, charms, that's right. Oh my god, it's like charms, sort of, you know, you get a certain a number, um, but, yeah. Alright, so let's see here, anything here? Looks like there's a place to go over here. Nope, can't go that way. Let's um, let's examine this thing. Can we examine this? Yes, we can. Myths of the World, Chapter 1. 200,000 tides ago, the Old Ones brought us life. Born into a world as harsh as the stone pillars which pierce its sky, we struggle to endure. Wrapped up in their own delusions, the Old Ones stood at the cusp of the calamity threatening to tear the world asunder. From the turmoil, a young deity arose and spun the world anew so that we could be free. And with the calamity passed, the Old Ones vanished. What? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and um, now we're just gonna kind of go through here. Uh, wait, I wanted to see one thing. Actually, no, it's just plus. Never mind. We'll do that later. Much, much later. That's just a loading screen. And look at that. Now we're. I don't even know what happened there. There we are. So this is Laria. It looks lively. Indeed, it seems like they are getting ready for the upcoming festival. Now you go ahead and look for the seer. I'll wait for you. You won't come with me? No, but I'll stay close by. Okay, so now we're in a little town here, it seems. So uh, now we get to move around here. I'm so looking forward to the festival. I don't know, I heard some scary things happen at Veteri. Or Viteri. Will there even be a festival this year, Mom? Of course, my dear. We cannot stand down our traditions because of an unknown threat. Especially now, we should... Celebrate to earn the blessings of our goddess. You're probably right. Okay. He's over there. I'm not going to go that way. What about you? Hey, do you know about the seer? Yes, so they like to call me. But you, you're barely my age. I am, and my memory spent over 20 lifetimes. Well then, you must be here to learn about the dark shadows which chase your kind. Yes, they suddenly appeared in... Wait, my kind? My friend, you're not a moth and obviously not much of a weaver either. I think I always knew... But what am I? If you know something, please tell me. Very well. I recall memories of a wingless woman fleeing from her dark pursuers and stumbling through the thickets of the spun forest. There is no telling how long ago this happened or if she is still there to be found. If you wish to know more, you will have to travel further into the depths of this world. Down? But how? The tidal vortex leads down to the spun forest. It is sealed, though. To unlock it, you must seek the aid of an entity who goes by the name of Twill. You should find her somewhere by the temple ruins to the east. Now go and tell her to come pick up her trash from the tent. Oh, okay. 
All right, uh, there's actually a chest back there. Let's open this while I drink some water. A simple blue ribbon can be used in playground mode. Okay, cool. That's not bad at all. I suppose we'll talk to you too. There was an attack on the Terry. What should we do if they come for us as well? I have no idea. Hayu, do you know anything about the temple ruins to the east? Perhaps, but I sell goods, not information. For a shop, this looks pretty empty to me. You don't say. Since the path to Tidal Vortex was closed, I haven't been able to restock. There are only some shelf warmers left. Take a look around. Don't expect a discount for them, though. Hmm. So, this is the, uh, basically... The reason why you have this essence because you have to actually spend them to buy some of these uh, embroideries. Um, so it allows users the pattern wave plus to fast stitch a pattern resembling a large blossom. So this one's actually an upgraded. Um, slightly increases the refill rate of stitching moves. Okay, so that just, you know, the cooldown rate of that uh, ZL move. Attracts floating thread essence in a large radius. Okay, so basically, you know, you just, it's like a magnet. You draw them in. Collect four fragments to- okay, and this is just, um, I don't know, you only sell one or more, I don't know, actually. Um, I don't know if I should be spending any here, I mean, it might be good to- You know what, I'm gonna buy this hard piece. Sure. There we go. So, now as you can see, that you got your three of those. Okay, so it was only one hard piece that you had. Okay, so, um, why is to talk and then access for the shop? Anything over here? I don't think so. I don't think I can go back there. Let me talk to you. I heard that there is a giant bathhouse down at the Empire. At least two dozen people are tasked to keep the pools filled with water at all times. I hope I will get to see it with my own eyes someday. I don't think I can go over here. Uh, it's definitely blocking me. Okay. Well, that's about it for this town. It's a rather small one, but there is a shop there, so... You know, that's that's nice. Let me uh, Let me talk to you. Oh wait, I think I accidentally pressed for Oh yeah, you can actually pet. This is a really weird and just clunky mechanic, I would say. Um, I don't know, you do this, you like move around, and if you do hand brush, then like, oh no. Doesn't like it. Yeah, I don't know, like I, when I was playing through the game, I was like, what the heck am I doing here? I don't know, like you can just, See, and it just goes more and more until it goes to highest. Oh man, that's what life is all about. What was I doing all those years before I found you? What? Anyway, how did we go? We need to head to the Temple of Ruins to find somebody named Twill. Apparently she can help us. Don't we have any other options? Hmm, why? Ah, oh, guess not. What's wrong with the plan? Never mind, I just like to have options. If I could find some sort of disguise, it might not be that bad. Hmm, you're hiding something. I can sense it. Can we just go? Yep, we can. Okay, so now we should be back on our thread maker or whatever. Yeah, the loading is average. Uh, luckily, there's not too many loading screens, but when they are here, they're they're not long, but they're not short either. You know, it's a pretty average loading screen size. Dear me, I forgot to tie my woolies to the ground and, and as soon as I turned my back, they flew off dragging their leashes after them. I need to get them back to their pen before dusk, but chasing them exhausted me. Could you perhaps pull them down for me and tie them up? You'll reward me for it. Oh, hell yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then you just simply go like that. Alright, that's one. Two. Almost. There we go. Next one is over here. Pretty simple, right? There we go. And then the last one is over here. I think we need to go over here around and then we'll do... Get it. What? What the heck? Oh my god, I thought I glitched it or something. I think that's it. You gather my herd, thank you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. What I get? Ooh. Money. More money. I'll take it. Gladly. Let's see how much I get here. Oh yes, I went up to 48. 
Oh, and please don't tell my father about this. He's convinced that I'm constantly slacking off on the job. Well, he's right. If you let them all escape and get tied up there somehow. Okay, so... I think here there's, once again, two ways to go? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, let me actually go back. Hold on, because I actually want to see if there was another section up there. I thought there was another section. I mean, technically, yes, but I can't go up there. Okay, got it. Alright, that makes me feel a lot better. That way I don't have to be like, oh, but I missed the location over there. Nope. And also, I got all the holes, right? I believe I did. That's one thing I haven't been too conscious of yet. I haven't really been paying too much attention to that, and I know I should. Okay, these I think need like multiple. Yeah, so they're a uh, they're a new type of enemy, obviously. I still wouldn't say that they're like hard. They're definitely not. They just have a couple more hit points. And there's up there, as you can see, it's like a farm-like area, but I can't go that way. And there's all this too. We're gonna patch up all these here. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, sounds good. And then, whoa, look at this one right here. Okay, I actually don't want to do that yet. Hold on. So this, I think, is just going to loop back around, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's where I was, as you can see. So that, that settles that part, at least. I don't have to worry about three locations, but there was another location. Um, and that was... I think it was up here. This one. I like to always stun these enemies before I start stitching them up. It just makes it a lot easier in my opinion. There we go. And here we got uh we got plenty of enemies. Oh god. Okay, got you too. I know there's some enemies down there, but I don't really need to worry too much about every literally every single enemy, you know. I'll kill most of them, of course. Uh, I think we got everything there. Yes, we did. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should have gone the other, other way. Because this one looks like it's going to be like much, much longer. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, let me try this way. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Oh my god, it's actually another puzzle. Jesus. Um. I'm actually not too sure about this one. This is definitely one thing I did not do when I was practicing the game. But see, I think eventually the, the thread, like falls off or something like that was happening to me a couple times when I was like playing through and I wasn't actually sure why but it just was well there we go I did it I think you just have to be perfect because like if you miss a spot I think it starts to like get like I don't know tangle or something oh look at this you got a yellow royal ribbon okay so that's it for this side here. Um, this does give me the impression that I should have gone back and done the other thing first. Because if I keep moving this way, I'm pretty sure that it's just going to be more and more progression. Like, which is cool, you know, it's fine, but I also want to get all the items. Okay, um... Yeah, see, that's going to... Oh, 
All right, let, let's let's just dash. Let, let's let's dash all the way back. It shouldn't take too long. I'm also gonna end the video soon anyway. So I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, you know go back there and see what's behind that door. I gotta solve the puzzle first. But then after that, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and. Uh, Oh look, I missed yeah, enemies here. Like I was saying, I'm not really going to go after them all unless I can easily get them. Or else I'm kind of just wasting too much time, you know? Okay, so they, I think it was... Also, I don't think there's actually a map in this game. I was trying... Oh god, I was trying to find it, but... I couldn't really find anything. Unless there is, I mean, y'all can let me know, but I tried like every freaking button and it just wasn't working. You know? I don't know. Uh... What was the solution here? Wait, but I thought I saw nothing shining. Hold on. Like, usually they, um... Oh, what the heck? Maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this yet. Yeah, I definitely didn't do these these things here um, when I was playing through the game. Oh no, like the weird thing is that there's no... um. Okay, here, we'll start like this. Shit. Okay, so we'll go like this. Unless I'm actually literally missing a clue or something, you know? Okay, if so I've been here for about like 7-8 minutes and I, I'm seriously looking everywhere and there's not a hint. There's no single hint. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this yet. I mean, if I am, let me know what the hint there was. Um, but usually they're supposed to be shining, like, were you, like what you saw in the previous puzzles or there's some kind of hint. I wasn't seeing anything like that at all. Um, so let me know. Other than that though, this video is over. Next time I'm going to begin over there where I have to keep progressing obviously. So yeah, before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye bye everyone, have a great day.